Okay, Capricorn, let's take a deep for look into your romantic relationship. This is going to take you out into mid-May. This is your partner, potential partner's energy. First, we're going to look at here. Show me the partner, potential partner of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, partner, potential partner's energy. Okay. You had a magician. The Page of Swords. Somebody could have you there. I own you, Capricorn. Somebody could be watching you. It could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And then we have all four of the elements here. So it could be any of the 12 signs. You had a magician showing up. So this would be your partner, potential partner's energy. Or this is a Capricorn. Man. There's a man, your partner, potential partner has their eye on you. They can want to manifest. You're in a position of strength. This is how they see you. Both of you are showing up at, in the major kind of They see you, Capricorn, as strong, showing restraint, maybe having your back turned it down. You're in a position of strength. You've come back from something or you've healed from something, meaning you've recuperated from something or healed from something. They see you as strength. This could be a third element, third person here watching you and your partner, will, your potential partner will be watching you or your partner. So there could be two people watching you, but you have a magician. Somebody could be trying to fill out your energy. They want to know what you're feeling, how you're thinking, what you're thinking, how you're feeling, excuse me. We had a three of swords. You've overcome some type of mental distress. You heal from some type of heartbreak or something that was bothering you mentally. Something that affected you regarding you and this person or you and a person that you dealt with. You have someone showing up as a magician. Show me three cards. Whatever somebody has done to you. So this could be someone that you already have dealt with. Hold on Capricorn. Whatever they've done to you or however, whatever happened between you two made you feel. It's like or whatever your thoughts were around it. You've come back from it with the strength. You have to marry go around. If you had an addictive quality towards this person or felt like you were addicted to going in circles with this person, you're not doing that anymore. They know there's a shift and a change in your energy. They're watching you, but it appears that somebody else is watching you also. It would be that um, this person is trying to feel you out. They don't know what you're thinking. Trying to figure you out or feel you out without approaching you. Show me the three of swords. The royal card. Yeah, you've ended something. And the hangman. Somebody that may have had you out going around in circles, um, Capricorn, or had you waiting. And it caused you a lot of mental anxiety, stress. They could be coming back around. They could be coming back to you. They want to feel your energy out first. This person knows that you feel... Not the way you used to feel regarding them. They know they will have to start at the beginning with you. That they give they've given you a reason to distrust them or something. They're trying to figure you out or feel you out. So meaning they they expect you to act or respond in a certain way. Okay, and they're trying to see if the coast is clear for them to come in towards you. But they're going to come in towards you because they need to know something pretty quickly here. They don't They don't want to waste too much time. Do I feel that a lot of time here has already been wasted? You close the cycle out with this person as if you, and you heal here from whatever happened between you two. They could be wanting you to see things differently. To change your perspective or change your mind.
They know that you've healed and you could potentially be moving on. They know that you're not going to go back to them. Eight of Swords. That cycle is over. The World card. The Major Arcana outweighed this minor one. And you had a Three of Swords. Then it's the Eight. Then you had a Hangman in the World. You've completed a cycle with the person. You may... You may be seeing... This person is wondering if you're seeing them differently. They don't know what to think. They don't know what, how you're feeling. As if you have not been talking to them or communicating with them, they let them know. But they want to speak to you and communicate with you. They And I feel that is something... Um, they need to know something rather quickly regarding you two. Even though they want to fill you out first to see if, if you will be receptive to communicating with them or receptive to whatever they're going to say. But they feel that they can't wait, you know, or waste much time. That they need to just go ahead and approach you and ask or say whatever it is they want to ask and say is what I'm getting with this here Capricorn. So some of you have somebody coming back to you. Coming back around with the royal card. They've changed their mind. They're wondering if you've changed yours with the hangman. This has been somebody you've been stuck, mentally trapped. You know, a situation that kept you stuck and mentally trapped with this eight of swords. You appear to have healed from it. And release it with the strength. You're in a great position of strength. You've turned your back. Actually, you have your back and you're looking that way. And this person is wondering if this situation is completely lost. They have something that they want to communicate with you and ask you or tell you. And they, they kind of want to wait until the coast is clear, meaning that you're not angry or upset. Or more liable to say no. But they feel that they can't wait, you know, until they feel comfortable and not afraid of rejection. You know, they need to go ahead and ask you now or tell you something now like that. It could be about whatever. It could be about coming to see you. It could be about whatever here with this magician. It's about manifesting something. We had an ace of cups. They could also want to express their feelings towards you. They can want to express their feelings towards you with this magician energy. They want to manifest the romantic relationship with you. As I stated, Capricorn, some of you appear to have two people watching you. It could be two different romantic interests. It'll be one from the past and a new one like that. and it Or, or it will be a romantic interest and then someone else is watching you. But it's a non-romantic. Uh, like that. They're not in a romantic interest. Show me Capricorn some on rising with this Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups for Capricorn. So somebody wants to express their feelings. They want to express their love. They want to not only express it, they want to be the magician and manifest something with you. They will have something to ask you or tell you. They want to get something moving like that. And they kind of wear it away as I stated and fill your energy out. Ace of Wands. Yeah. They want to initiate something. It's an emperor. It could be an Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Sagittarius, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising. It could be anybody. The two of ones, you two could be at a distance from one another. It doesn't have to be, but this is about starting a path and moving forward. And they can want to communicate with you about that. They're wondering if you're, you've are you moved forward. They can feel that you, you've kind of moved on from them. Or they want to know if you moved on from what happened. Like that. It's something about moving on. And is it too late? Because I feel that somebody feels that a lot of time was wasted. But now they, they kinda, they're kind of they hesitant because they want to waste more time to see if you're going to be angry or not. But, or wait until you, they think that you're not angry. But they feel that uh, they don't have that type of time. That time was already wasted. They need to go ahead and make a move towards you. We had the Seven of Swords with the, the Princes of Swords. Watching you, spying on you. Somebody's watching you and spying on you. This would have been a person that you may have called out for being deceptive. The hermit, the page of wands, and the lovers. This person could have had a choice between you and someone else. It could be a Virgo in this, a Gemini in this, some moon rising. They could have had a choice between you and someone else. You could have called them out for deceptive behavior. Or they're wanting or worried or trying to fill you out to see if you're going to try to call them out about something, some type of deceptive behavior. Or to see if you're going to hold them accountable or want them to answer regarding some type of deceptive behavior. Is what I'm getting with this Capricorn. Show me Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising. A deeper look into their romantic relationship with the Strength card. 
Okay, Capricorn, you all have the Five of Wands, conflict. There could have been competition around this romantic relationship. Could a person that could be watching you all? It could be a person that they were involved with. Or it's two romantic interests you have watching you. Like that, I feel like you have two people watching you. This is conflict, but it's minor. It's petty. It's nothing you can't handle. Or it just shows that you are, you're, you're, you're courageously dealing with some type of conflict like that. And are dealing with conflictual situations. It could be in multiple areas of your life. Or it could just all be romantic and regarding people around a romantic relationship. Okay, Capricorn, I'm going to continue with your reading later. Let's just spread and clarify your cards. The link is in the description box for this video per usual. Bye.